Welcome back to Music Nuggets. As you can see, we are in lower res this week and we're on the move. I've got the selfie stick on the go and it's because we're going to go on a road trip. We're going to visit some Chinese music shops. I live in Chongqing. For some of you who don't know, many people who know me will know that I'm in China just now. I've been living here for a year or so and it's nearly time to go back. So I'm going to try and buy a case for the Ibanez here. Hopefully one that will let me go on the on the plane with the, the guitar actually on the plane. Um, but I want to make sure that I've got something sturdy enough if they have to put it in the hold. And as you can see, this sorry looking thing sure as hell ain't going to cut it. So let me just show you Sunny Chong Ching from the balcony. As you can see it's not so sunny today. It's pretty muggy and overcast but actually much better weather for walking around in. Um, a couple of weeks ago it hit 37 degrees during the day here so it gets really really hot and it makes it difficult for walking around. As you can see Chongqing is a pretty dense place. It's what, definitely what you would describe as a mega city but I've actually had quite a lot of problems finding instrument shops. Um, it doesn't seem to be something that there's there's too much of. But we have our Chinese friend Shang Yu who's going to help us find shops and also do a bit of negotiating if need be. Our Chinese is pretty bad so it really helps to have a friend who can translate for us in that situation. So join us on our road trip. So we've just left the apartment. We are on the move, going to meet Shang Yu. And this is the street outside our apartment. This is Chongqing. Not much to see here. Very dense residential area. And lots of people just on their way to work. Going about their business. This is my partner, Becca. Let me introduce you to Shang Yu. Hi. Shang Yu. Shang Yu is going to help us find our case today. So we're gonna we're gonna walk along Shopping Ba. How do you pronounce Shopping Ba properly? Shopping Ba. Shopping Ba. Okay, cool. So that's where we're going. We're gonna visit some music shops. So we decided to get a taxi because I forgot the guitar. So no subway, taxi. Makes a lot more sense because the shop is a little bit further away from the subway station. So it would have been a pretty heavy walk. And it's actually pretty hot as you can probably see from how much I'm sweating. So here we are at Poya Musical Instruments. And it's pretty much the only shop I've been able to find so far, so I'm really hoping they've got what I want. And it's kind of on the outskirts of the main city part of Shepping Ba. As you can see, there's not many shops around here, and it's very noisy. Hopefully you can hear me. So this is the surprise I was talking about. You can, it seems, try any of these guitars because they're all shrink wrapped. But this is what they have. Pretty hefty selection of Ibanez. A starter Epiphone SG here. Uh, Lagini drum section. That's pretty much what you expect from a music store. Except all the guitars are shrink wrapped. Shang Yu, do you think this is weird? That, that all the guitars are wrapped in, in cellophane. Back home, when we buy a guitar, we want to. We want to try a guitar, you know. So we want to we want to take it off the wall and see how it feels before we buy it. Maybe if you tell them, they can yeah. 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 When we first arrived, though, 
and I bought this. Obviously we didn't speak any Chinese, so we're just like, how do we even ask? So Shang Yu, what's that? That's three... three thousand pounds? I think yeah. it's ten yuan to... At the moment it's roughly ten yuan to one uh, British pound. So that's roughly three thousand pounds. Maybe like... Mm -hmm. Three and a half thousand dollars? Yeah. I like this pink Gibson. You like the pink Gibson? <laughs> I like the pink Gibson. It's cool. I would play that. Yeah, so this is the fender section. Some relics. <laughs> that seems like an okay price for a thin line. Pink custom shop relic. So that looks like maybe a Mexican strat there. So just under six hundred pounds for a Mexican strat. I'm gonna have to make some comparisons when I get back. So I haven't really seen what the prices of things are like at the moment. American original series. 14,800 yuan, which is probably about 1,500 pounds. Not a great selection in terms of colours. Interesting looking Framus there. There's the guitar for me. Sorted. So I think if I had to choose a guitar in this store, even though I'm not a Les Paul guy, it would probably be this pink Les Paul. That's cool. So maybe somewhere in the three and a half thousand UK pounds region. That's a real cool finish. Music store chessboard. So you can see there's not much in the way of synths or anything. Mostly just multi-purpose keyboards. Roland F A Electronic drums. Kitty Haven. Strings. Everything much the same. Something that's noticeably different in Chinese music stores is you normally have pedal displays for pedals so they'd be all out and you'd be able to try them out. But as you can see here all the boss pedals are in their boxes. So there's the bass overdrive, line selector, angry driver, DS1, standard stuff. Ah here's your pedal display. Got an SY, a Beastie SY300. And all boss stuff. Some wireless kits. Multi effects. Oh, they got some Nord gear. Cool. I'm a big fan of Nord gear, especially the Nord modular stuff. Ah, I can see some of our cheaper pedals now. Some more effects. Micro preamp. You can see the prices here. Just take a zero off that basically for for British pounds. It's roughly ten yuan to one pound at the moment. Flanger for forty five pounds. That seems decent. And I have to check out the comparison online when we get back home. See what it would cost to order something like that on Amazon. Some Digitech gear here. 
Hard one. Oh, here's some hidden gems. What we got here? A vibrato pedal. Shaky gems, vibrato. Cool. Some kind of Knox pedal. Some good prices there. And you're basically looking at 18 pounds ish, 20 pounds tops for that vibrato pedal. We've got some Spider Man picks though. Well, oh, they're not Spider Man, they're some shades. What do you think of that, Becca? Sick. Sick. <laughs> some interesting drum kits. Maybe my friend Tam can shed some light on this back home. Tam, is that a good price for this? Comment your comments in the comments below. Tama Star Classic. Only £4,000. Here's our cases. Looks like we're going to be well catered for. Don't have the right size. Do they have clothes? Very special. Yeah. So we didn't find a case, but we, we found the guitar store kitty. <laughs> I hope his name is something like Gibson or Fender. Now, Xiang Rami. Oh, he's cute. Mm -hmm. I feel like last time you were here, there was a tiny cat too. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it. Likes me. Wants me for dinner. So even though we've not found what we wanted here, we've had a pretty interesting little trip out. We're going to check out one more, probably. Just want to say a big thanks to the owner here for letting us film. Thank you very much. So we didn't do so well in that store. Hopefully we can find something in the next place that we go. But the guy did say that most places are going to have roughly the same thing. Um, I think part of the problem is most people have started buying anything remotely specialist on Taobao which is kind of the equivalent to, it's like a cross between eBay and Amazon, I guess. Um, and obviously the problem with anything guitar related is you want to make sure that it works for you before you actually buy it. And on Taobao, even though you can send things back, especially for us as Westerners living in China, it's a bit of a problem sending things back, getting all the logistics of that right. And I'm hoping that we can just find something. So, fingers crossed for the next place. So we found quite a different guitar store here. <clears throat> Everything's really on display and ready to be played. So I've just noticed these things, lava music. Look like maybe they're carbon fiber. They feel like metal. Yeah. Interesting little preamp situation. It's got a turbo button. Go faster guitars. What you point that, Becca? Yeah, they got lava ukuleles too. Some pretty sci-fi looking stuff. <laughs> But yeah, quite a different music store from the last one we saw.
Why are they made like this? Do you know? Can you ask him why? Okay. Are these ones expensive? Two thousand. Oh well, that's, I guess, like two hundred pounds ish. Yeah, so quite cheap. And we found, we found the case. It's a hard case. I was hoping for something hard that would go on my back, but it's a real snug fit. There's a little bit more room, height-wise. But I'm going to be taking clothes back too, so I can save some suitcase space and pack this out with clothes too. And it's really cheap. This is like 180 yuan. So that equates to maybe sort of 17 or 18 pounds, which is quite ridiculous for a hard case. So that's it, we got the case. I think the plan will be to buy another one, maybe a soft case thing that can go uh, like on my back just in case they won't take this one on the plane. But for like £18, £17 or £18, it's a pretty good quality case, I'm pretty happy.